All right, we're in downtown Mackinac. This street is usually the busiest spot when you're up here in the summer. All of these shops are hopping, people are walking up and down. But we found a couple of shops the kids want to hit up. We got like Devon's <laughs> Mackinac Island Fudge Company and just down here, Marshall's Fudge. So <clears throat> Zach and Sam thought it'd be cool to get a little fudge from each and do a little fudge tasting. So let's go inside and check this out. company buy two get two free so we walked out of there with 18.98 and then we have almost two pounds of fudge here so we're gonna go to Marshall's fudge see what kind of deals they have and then we'll taste them and let you know what we think okay all the fudge here in Mackinac is homemade so each shop actually makes their own fudge they don't bring it in they make it here it's fun in the summer because you can come here and actually watch them make it it's and super it fun good. and it smells amazing up and down the street Two. Everyone. Got two. Black, chocolate black walnut, just chocolate, plain vanilla, maple, chocolate rum, cherry chocolate, cordial, and chocolate cherry cordial. Got chocolate cashew here. They got a chocolate cashew here. They got a chocolate peanut butter. We even got one of those. What do you think, Bob? I'm fine with whatever. Okay. Chocolate peanut butter. Yeah. We have one chocolate peanut butter, please. Right. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You guys like butter pecan? Yeah. And a butter pecan. Yes, I have a wide variety of jelly beans. A little section where you can make your own stuffed animal. Pretty cool. And I also sell ice cream in the back here. Sammy's using one of the puppets. How do you even do that? Oh, they have a here too. Yeah. And what? Here at the fudge place, they also have a penny presser with a Mackinac bridge on it. Put in your penny. And two comes quarters. Out and two quarters for a fee. And it comes out. Press. Some giant jawbreakers. <laughs> yeah, bring your apples here and they'll cut them. A wide variety of different chocolates. <laughs> you can buy chocolate orange peels. All right, so we just left Marshall's Fudge and Candy Company here in Mackinac Island, or Mackinac City, Michigan. 
Um, this is where they actually make their fudge daily. I asked the gentleman in there, like, how often do you make your fudge? Because Mackinac's kind of closed down for the winter. And he said daily. They make their candy, they make their fudge, and then they ship it out to other places. So the two different fudge shops we went to today, at Marshall's we got a pound of fudge for the same price. We got two pounds of fudge down at Devon's. So, um, we're going to go and we're going to taste them and we'll let you know how that turns out. Either way, we got fudge and they can't go wrong. All right, so Lyle, Mackinac City, we went to two different fudge shops today. We went to Devon's Fudge Shop and Marshall's Fudge Shop. Marshall's Fudge Shop downtown, we got two half pound fudge. We got a chocolate peanut butter and a butter pecan for about $18.36 for those two. So it was a half a pound a piece, so about one pound of fudge for that price. At Devon's, we got almost two pounds of fudge for the exact same price. They had a great deal. Buy two, get two free. So, well, we thought it'd be fun if we tried a little bit from each one, let you know what was the best. So at Devon's, we picked up a cookies and cream fudge. We picked up a coconut almond fudge. We picked up a, ooh, Double Dark Caramel Sea Salt Fudge. And then we also picked up a Chocolate Cherry Fudge. So we're gonna try one of each, a little bite. We'll all kind of rate them, see what we think, and see what which one has the best fudge. Okay, so from Devon and Marshall Fudges, um, Devon's was the best deal. Marshall's, I have to tell you though, honestly, it's been really easy to open. Zach already has his open. He only had two to open, I have four, but I can't quite get mine open from Devon's because of the way they have them packaged, Devin so. Devon Marshall, wait a minute. Not that that means anything when it comes to how their fudge tastes, but just for convenience, it's kind of irking me. Just feeling them while opening them. The ones from Devon's are really soft. And the other one's harder. And again, it could be in the packaging too. Devon's had theirs wrapped up when we got there and Marshall's wrapped them up as we bought them. So let's start with Marshall's chocolate peanut butter. And what we're gonna do is the whole family is gonna have a bite and we'll let you know what we think. Now it is soft, but it is crumbly. All right. No, I want that. This one. Same so as eat it. Not yet. Well, we can it. try it. Okay. What flavor is that? This is a chocolate peanut butter from Marshall. It's really chocolatey. Mmm. It's like a Reese's peanut butter fudge. Mmm. This was more chocolate. Really? Yeah. That's what that Reese's. It's really creamy though. I'm really impressed by it because. Like Zach said, it was kind of harder, but it doesn't taste like that. Mm. All right. For Marshall's, we also got the butter pecan. So I will show you what this looks like as well. Little pieces. Of, oh, my pecan fell. It's not focusing. Now this butter pecan is kind of crumbly, nice. actually. Oh, I hate it. Sammy hates it. Why do you hate it? It's dry. This one's dry? Yeah. Zach? This is a pecan, but like, um, I hate it. It's, go it's mm. really good. Well, at first taste, it's weird. It does have a butter pecan taste, of course, like the ice cream. But, but it's kind of a waxy taste, too. Yeah, at first it tastes weird, but mm -hmm. right, once you eat the whole thing, yeah, it's a little waxy. Good. But, yeah. <laughs> Once you get it down, it tastes great, he says. Okay, so those are both the ones from Marshall. Now we're going to try the cookies and cream from Devin. I want to this one. What are you excited for this one? Because like cookies and cream. Is that cream? your favorite? Oh, well, this one's really easy to cut. Is it? It's like a Play-Doh, kind of. So the Marshall looked really, um, almost too soft, but... It feels like Play-Doh. Does it stick to your fingers? Does huh? it stick to your fingers? Kind of. So we just finished... The two that we got at Marshall's. Now we're gonna try the Dove in Mackinac Island 
fudge company. So we're gonna start with cooking the cream. Sam's favorite. She picked this out. So let's I don't all. Know. Well, this is the one you picked out. So you think it's your favorite, right? So shouldn't you eat that one since you like cooking cream the most? I'll try. All right. Okay. It's not bad. Hmm. Mm. That's good. I don't know. Okay. That's a waxy taste to me. Mm -hmm. I don't like yeah, it. Not nearly as bad as bark. No, pecan. no, you're right. It's not as bad as the butter pecan one. Yeah, that one's really good. But I do. I got it. Mm. I do taste a little bit. Yeah, I do taste too. Yeah, I love that okay. one. Okay. That's really good. Next, oh, we're going to yeah. try the chocolate. You need to wrap them up. And that's actually pretty good. The chocolate cherry fudge. Okay, so this is the chocolate cherry fudge one. This is, again, from the Devon's Mackinac Island Fudge Company. Oh, good. Mmm. It has Traverse City's cherries in it. This is excellent. I ain't got any cherry that was good. Not that cherry. I don't taste the cherry. What? Mm mm. I'm just tasting creamy chocolate fudge. I didn't get it. Oh, it's not. But it's excellent. Alright. That is really good. Zach's coconut almond fudge that he picked out. I don't want this one. You have to try it. Ah. That's how it goes. I'm assuming this is going to taste like, um,. A mom's bar, maybe? Mm -hmm. Or maybe an almond joy because. Oh, almond joy. Duh, it has almond in it. Coconut almond. Maybe. Maybe almond joy. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn it. You can't do that, right? <laughs> Cut that out, Dad. Or blue. You can't say the word D? No. Dang it! Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Here. You hate it? Here. What do you hate about it, though, Sammy? Hate coconut and almonds. Push together. Hmm. I almost got a wax fish, but it's really good. Yeah. But I do get the almond joy taste though. Mm hmm That's that's really good. Definitely get that. It's very good. Mm. Okay. Last one. One that I picked out is the double dark caramel sea salt fudge. Double dark chocolate? It says double dark caramel sea salt fudge. I don't know if it's ch double well, dark chocolate. Double dark chocolate. It doesn't look any darker than the chocolate cherry fudge though. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. So, let's give it a shot. What is this? Here. Dark chocolate? This one? This is. Yeah, that's dark chocolate. The double dark caramel sea salt fudge. I thought you had a dark chocolate taste. Again, from the Devon, Devon's Mackinac Island Fudge. It's good, but I just hate mm. oh sea salt God. and caramel. Hands so. down, my favorite. I don't have a waxy taste to it. I do love dark chocolate. I do love caramel. I do love sea salt. So, hey, really? put together, that's perfect. I just get a really dark chocolate taste to it, but like the caramel texture. But do you like it or no? It's all right. not, you don't like dark chocolate though. No, so. I hate dark chocolate. But you know, what was your favorite, Sam? Good and cream. Okay, so first of all, of the two fudge shops I went to, what was your favorite fudge shop? Mm, Probably Devin. Marshall's actually. You like the Marshall's better? Mm -hmm. Like the shop itself? No, the shop I like Devin's. Okay. Oh, like the actual like shop? Yeah, shop? the actual shop we went to. Which one? I like Marshall's because I have like the puppets and like the stuffed animals okay. and everything like that. What'd you like best about Devin's then? I don't know, it actually looked professional. That Marshall's just looked like a little... Like it was kind of thrown together? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. So, Sam, what's your favorite fudge we tried? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. What, what about you, Zach? Like... Either probably cookies and cream or the almond. See, now you didn't think you'd like the cookies and cream, so that's your favorite? Mm -hmm. Wow. I like the way the shop was looking. I have so. to say, of Devin's Mech <coughs> Island Fudge and Marshall's Candy Company, Fudge wise, Devon's, I believe, beat Marshall's. Um, and again, I think it could be in the packaging where Marshall's more like with a, um, like a plastic wrap on it and um, Devon's was like a, a cellophane type. A wax paper. This is the Devon's, it's more of a cellophane type. Oh, and then this is the Marshall's, it's kind of more of, just of a plastic wrap, it wasn't real tight. So I think that could be the biggest reasons why we're getting the different textures and maybe um it's really hard marshall's is a little bit harder but once you put it in your mouth it was creamy yeah that was very creamy. Mm -hmm. so 
all in all, Mackinac City, Michigan. When you come, you gotta try the fudge. Either way you go, you won't go wrong. So it's our last morning here at the Holiday Inn Express in Mackinac City. Um, I'll take you around for the Colonel breakfast because it's actually a very good breakfast. I'm impressed. They have hot food every day. Like yesterday they had bacon. They don't have bacon this morning, so Zach's pretty upset about that. Um, eggs every morning they have. He was pretty upset about it. He walked over to me. Maybe something I was crying about it. Oh, you're consoling. Okay, maybe he wasn't crying, but Zach was mad. How's that? Mad. Zach was mad. Bacon. He's disappointed. It's bacon. He's crying. He's disappointed. So, <clears throat> they have eggs every day. They have hard boiled eggs, yogurt, milks, juice assortment, of course, and coffees. Eggs. Um, eggs. They have biscuits and gravy every morning, plus an assortment of different meats to turkey sausage. Um, they've had that for the last two mornings. And Samantha's favorite part about this has been the cinnamon buns from Cinnabon. They're actually, oh, they're cinnamon rolls, sorry, she corrected me, um, from Cinnabon. So she's pretty excited about that. Are they good? Cream cheese frosting. Mmm, cream cheese frosting. And the other thing that's pretty cool is they have what looks like a pancake printer. Like you push the button and it prints out pancakes for you. So let's go take a look at that. Alright, so here's the fresh pancake. Okay. Yep, you hit okay. And you can see it comes out. All right, now the conveyor belt cooks it. Oh, I'm going down there. Yeah. Good tools. Can you see it yet? Yes, almost done. You can smell it bacon, can't you? Yeah. Oh, here it comes. Let it drop, don't you? Yeah. Did it automatically make two? Oh, yeah, making two of two right now. Oh, yeah. oh, I already made them. I separated that dough. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> Boom. Two fresh pancakes. Well, they even have a sauna here at the Holiday Inn Express in Mackinac. Super dark. Sorry, you can't see much. Unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of time to come and hang out and check out the pool. The pool looks like it has a sand bottom. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Man, I'm glad we didn't have a lot of time to spend down here. It's kind of dingy, huh? Yeah. Sorry, Holiday Inn. Looks like you need to do a little bit better maintenance in here. They do have this nice office area if you need to come down, hit an email, do a little business maybe. I probably wouldn't use your Wi-Fi, but other folks would. And then this nice little lobby area here too that you could come and hang out with the family or just relax. It is nice and the fireplace actually throws off heat. 
All right, so we are leaving Holiday Inn Express in Mackinac. I would say for this price, um, we have the balcony room, which looking back, they said it was a bigger room, that's why we got it. We didn't really need a balcony in the winter, of course. There wasn't really a good view from our side either. Couldn't see the bridge. Um, the, the hotel was super clean. I was impressed with that because that's huge for me. I check the beds. I open up everything uh, to make sure it's clean first. And I have to admit it was clean. Beds were very comfortable. Uh, the bathroom was comfortable. Not comfortable. I didn't sleep in there. It was clean. Um, but I have to admit, the pool area, I'm glad we never got a chance to go in there because when I did go film it, I was kind of grossed out. So if they take care of that, all in all, I'd probably give us an eight. Breakfast was good. Staff was very friendly and courteous. Really didn't have any issues there. And it was really easy to get around to Mackinac too from this location. So if you're coming to Mackinac City, I would say the Holiday Inn Express uh, by the bridge is a good place to come and stay. Remember to like us, leave a comment if you've been here before. Um, Huh? Subscribe. Oh yes, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Adventures of Carmoody and Company.